SAP UI5 Bootstrap. Now your UI5 pages always have to start with the Bootstrap, and this is used to load the UI5 runtime. In this example, we can see that we have a JavaScript tag that contains references to the UI5 libraries. Now there's the references to the control libraries, as well as a reference to the theme for the application, and you can also reference additional libraries that come with UI5, such as support for languages and right-to-left support. After we've implemented our bootstrap code, we're going to write our application script. And this is where you use controls like layouts and text fields, and use the placeAt method to assign that to a div element in your HTML. Now this example shows the HTML page with our bootstrap code defined, specifying the theme and the libraries, as well as another section that shows using the button control and the placeAt method to assign that to the div with the ID of content. And that's our UI area in our application. Now a web application with one control won't be of much use, so let's take a look at an example that uses multiple UI areas. Again, we have our bootstrap code, and then we're going to have a section that contains three buttons. And there's calls to the placeAt method to assign those buttons to the header, the menu, and the content div tags in our UI areas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.